Outriders altered. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Outriders Univ- No, that's not good. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> We're not doing Outriders Universe, don't worry. But I wanted to just drop this video. I've been playing this demo, and some of you have, and I'd love to hear your experiences. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I've played through just uh, one of the characters for now, to the end part of the, uh, the, the missions that you're given for the demo, and it's been rather interesting. Uh, I don't think it's amazing. I, I don't think- no nothing in this game has amazed me just yet. Um, but I am curious. I'm very curious. Uh, it's from People Can Fly Games, and uh, they're a Polish dev, and you might know them because, of course, they developed Bulletstorm, which was hella awesome fun, uh, and mm, I think, and unfortunately, heavily underplayed that game. And of course, Gears of War Judgment, which I think personally was probably the least interesting Gears of War, and certainly the one that most people hold in least regard. Um, that's not a blemish on People Can Fly. The assets and some of the work in Gears of War Judgment was really good. And I think that's an important consideration because it's very clear that is a big influence for Outriders. The aesthetic, the art and the design does ring for me a lot of familiarities to the Gears of War environment. So whether they've used assets or some of the design principles that they've had from that game, I suspect. Um, definitely, you feel that clunkiness, that epic uh, epic Unreal 4 engine clunkiness that we know and are familiar with with Gears of War. Though I will say it's smoother. It doesn't feel as heavy and weighty. The shooting is quite heavy and weighty, but the movement itself is quite free. Um, they've got a good relationship with Epic Games that goes back, obviously, with these environments. Uh, it's a very basic sci-fi plot. You've got an alien storm called the Anomaly. Uh, it lands and gives you some special powers. Um, Although I should add, the game starts with three words. Uh, Earth was dead. And, you know, with Anthem and everything being going on, it's kind of a bit... <laughs> I was like, wow, it's a great, exciting, happy way to start a game. Um, and also, Earth was dead. Uh, is that... is dead? Or was? And no, I don't know. Maybe there's something I'm not reading there properly. But anyway, uh, that's how it starts out. How would I describe this game? Um, Gears Light. Gears Light. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a Gears Light game. It's, um, as I said earlier, it has that, that menacing grit and sound and impact that Gears of War has, but it doesn't have the cumbersome movement. It's a little bit fluid and, and faster in some ways. Uh, and uh, I'd say you've got Mass Effect-like biotic abilities, and maybe even, if you remember that PlayStation game Infamous, this feeling of superpowers. Uh, not quite to that level in terms of world destruction, but there is cover destruction that happens around you. A number of times I went up to a wall or a cover and then noticed that it was completely shot out in front of me. Uh, so things like that obviously happen you know, fairly frequently. But that's how I'd probably describe it. A, a Gears Light cross Mass Effect cross Infamous. Um, it's fun tactical shooting with superpowers. And you can co-op it with a total of three players. Yeah, again, I, I don't think it's amazing, but it, it has felt quite nice so far. Um, the AI itself, uh, I don't think the AI is brilliant, but what I really loved is it's super aggressive. Um, this game, you can't sit behind cover forever. You can't sit there sniping. Uh, you will get caught out, and you will get flanked, and they will come after you, and they will come at you with shotguns, and they'll come at you with melee characters that will just wreck you. So I actually really enjoyed that. The AI is not particularly smart, but um, it's aggressive, and you're constantly thinking about, what am I going to go next? What weapon do I have to pull out? What special power am I going to use? What proximity are the enemies to me, etc.? And I really like that. It's kind of refreshing. Um, the enemy cues are pretty good. Uh, you, you get a pretty good sense of when things are happening. When a grenade's about to fall, you get a really nice identifier for what's about to happen. And I think that works really well. Uh, in terms of tone, it's this is different, man. This is, you know, people can fly. You know, Bulletstorm was, was, was fun and silly and outrageous. Um, Gears of War was tonally more serious, but still uh, not uh, not what this is. This is dark. This is this is kind of gritty. Um, and, and I can see where they're going at it. You know, they're certainly going it with a darker angle. I only wonder if maybe they're not going to be able to pull this off. Because if you look at the cinematics, the cutscenes, the dialogue, there's a lot of exposition here and clunky dialogue. And it's just... It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel smooth. It's not... Um, 
poetic, it's a bit disconnected, and it's hard to say, of course, it's still just a demo, but we've got to remember that this is actually a, not, it's, not a it's not a vertical slice or an alpha or a beta, this is a demo of the first part of the game, so this is the first mission that you experience in the game that will then flow you over to the rest of the game. So we've got to remember that whilst we can be forgiving, uh, this, is a, this is a demo, so this is very representative of what's going to be in the final game. And uh, there were certainly some issues that I think were, were there, and that, that sprang, that kind of contrasted with the tone. They're trying to go for this gritty seriousness, but there was definitely some disconnects there. Um, visuals and animation-wise, I, I think the water in this game, man, the water in this game has this really nice sheen to it. It's like, um, it's like a matte painting. Um, I really dig it. It's certainly a, a type of design that we've seen in UE4-based games previously. It's certainly something you'd be used to seeing in something like Gears, etc. But I just really like that. It, when you looked around some of the environments, you got that feeling like it had been painted on. And I think that's cool. The animations are pretty good. Um, the game looks fine. I mean, it doesn't blow you away. It has that sort of dank dreariness about it, which again goes with that serious tone that people can fly going for. Um, and, and I think that kind of brings you down a little bit and doesn't really show off some of the aesthetics very well. I think that's just the nature of the beast. It kind of reminds me of, remember that the 90s and the late 90s, early 2000s, went through that kind of gray, brown, green. I'm getting a lot of that in Outriders. So, you know, you go with the design, that's, that's what happens, unfortunately. But um, it doesn't blow you away, but it does look very nice that said the animations are inconsistent you you will definitely just look at yourself walking and you'll notice that there's a bit of a, a kind of awkward approach to how your your character moves um, again ue4 is hard at work here the devs definitely have good experience with this stuff they're definitely using gears assets but uh, yeah there's still some work here to be done whether or not that represents final i don't know but the animations do have a kind of clunkiness about them um, and, and the game itself plays rather smoothly but when you sort of slow down and just watch your character moving there's something not quite right about it and maybe that's by design but I, I think that's a little bit concerning to start with it was lovely to resume the game after leaving it for three hours I left the game on for three hours I went away I had to do some stuff I came back and it was still there. I hadn't been disconnected from a server. I hadn't been kicked from the server. Um, I really liked that. <laughs> Maybe I just got used to that with Anthem, but uh, anyway, uh, I think it was a nice, a nice to have. Uh, one thing I'll say with that though is that if you walk away or you need to back out, and I did this a few times, if you want to back out to the menus to switch your weapon loadouts, you um, you actually get forced out of cover. And I'm not sure if that's a bug or if that's intentional, um, but there's a few times there where I was, say, holding a assault rifle and a sniper, and I wanted to swap over to an assault shotgun combination. And I had to back out to the menu to do that. When I came back, um, my character was out of cover and just getting annihilated. And it was really frustrating. Um, anyway, I don't know if it's a bug or if that's intentional, trying to punish you, but that really kind of frustrated me. Um, you do need to keep moving forward, like I said. Um, and I think the other motivator of that is that when you kill, you get health. So if you keep moving, you keep momentum moving forward, you will keep winning. And I think that's a good encouragement. You can tell this game is not some sort of defensive cover shooter. This is a aggressive cover shooter. Make no mistake, I think the purpose of this game is to get you out of cover and to get you moving. Um, and that's just from this very first opening mission. I, I never felt a moment of where... There was a few times where I had the sniper rifle and I could hold back, and I did hold back where I could, but uh, usually after about 30 seconds, something's going to rush you, and you've got to get your powers ready or your shotgun ready and, uh, and make good work of it. Very fun, though, combining things. I really had a good fun... Uh, really had, I really had a good experience combining powers with different weapons, and I think that was uh, kind of cool. Uh, in terms of some big problems, uh, the cover system. This cover system, I don't know what's going on. It's not working. Uh, and I've noticed a few other people have commented to this in different communities. It's not working. Uh, sometimes it will not stick. Uh, you, you can't stick to cover. Sometimes it will only allow you to stick to cover within about a meter. Sometimes if you're on top of the cover, like right up against the wall, you can't gain cover. and You can't move into the cover animation. So I don't know what that is. That's definitely a bug, and they better fix that because that is really detrimental. A lot of times I'd run to cover or running through the battlefield, trying to get down into uh, some piece of cover, and I couldn't stick to it. And I'm getting completely annihilated of trying to work out what the hell I'm doing wrong. And it wasn't me. It was the, uh, the game not accepting my, my command. Um, so that's one. The other one is the in-game cinematics. I mentioned before that the dialogue and exposition are not very exciting. They're kind of bland. Uh, but another thing that's a problem there is the in-game cinematics. They have this 
um, heavy camera shake, this kind of uh, movement that they're trying to emulate in the camera to bring a sense of dismay and orientation, uh, disorientation. And it's just horrible. It's really bad to look at. A lot of people have said it's frame rate related. I don't think it's frame related. It's not. that The frames aren't dropping. My frames aren't dropping here. I'm not seeing that. It's the way the cinematics are cut and shot to create this kind of shaky cam emulation. And it's just not working. It's too... I don't know, it's too jarring. It's pulling your eyes left and right, and it's not what Shaky Cam does say in Hollywood films. It's not quite that. Like, that's hard sometimes to digest for the eyes, but this is beyond that, and they've got to fix that. It is too jarring and too distracting, and I've heard more than enough people bring this up in the, in the, uh, in the chats as well. Um, I don't think it's frame rate, as I said, but yeah, we'll see how that pans out. Hopefully that's something they can work on. That's my initial thoughts. Um, I'm really keen to hear what you guys think. Um, I, as I said, I'm, I've heard some people getting really excited about this game. I, I'm, I'm a bit optimistic. I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, I, um, I enjoy the superpower combination of loot, shoot, get the gear, take out the boss, um, use your special powers, uh, and combine and combo those in the game. I think it's going to work really well. As to the longevity of the game and, and, and you know, the aesthetic and, and the exposition and the dialogue and all those things, um, I don't know. Um, that alongside some of the bugs in terms of the, uh, the cinematics that I mentioned, the cover bug, and most certainly that camera shake problem, um, I think, uh, yeah, they've certainly got some things to address. Again, I'd normally be fairly easy on a game at this point, uh, but this is not an alpha or beta, as I said earlier, this is a demo. So that does raise some question marks. Um, I'm sure they've got time in a day one patch to really address this if they've already gone gold, uh, which I presume they have if they've got a demo out. Um, I haven't looked it up myself, but I think overall this is going to be an interesting game. Um, I look forward to it. I do like that it's not going to be this permanently live, consistent game. The idea of this is that it's really more of a co-op um, RPG looter shooter. And I think that's kind of cool, mixed in with the special powers. This will be a good escape. In fact, I think this will be a great escape for a lot of freelancers that might have been struggling or having some challenges. There's definitely some throwbacks. There's definitely some familiarity. There's some armor that you might find very interesting. There's a tattoo that you might find extra interesting for the keen Anthem fans out there if you have a look in the uh, character creator. Uh, so that was quite nice to see. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm interested. I'm not going to say excited. Um, yeah, there's a few things to sort out here, and it's not a perfect game. It, it certainly does feel like, a, as I said, a Gears Light, um, but it's a great offering from People Can Fly, and it could be something that can really whet the appetite for us right now. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Please let me know in the comments, what did you think about Outriders? What sort of content do you think this game is going to promote? Uh, what's your thought on the loot? Uh, what's your thought on the gear that you've acquired? Um, I've only played one of the characters, uh, so I'd be keen to hear you know, the different characters perhaps that you've experienced um, in the game. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Outriders altered. I will see you next out in the Outrider land. What's it called? What's the Outrider land called? I can't remember. Epoch or something? Enoch? I don't know. Go look it up, but it's a world. <laughs> I'll see you soon.